Y'all, we are getting robbed blind. Thursday night, they got our four-wheeler. Last night, they came back and stole my parents' golf cart, and I'm tired of it. So we're going full-on DEFCON 3 threat level red. We're going uh, Operation Bust That Ass because I'm sick and tired of people just coming and taking what we worked so hard to get. Look at what they did. This was Thursday night. They came in, cut the barbed wire fence, and had to come prepared because those are clean cuts right there. Cut the fence, went all the way across the field, cut another hole in the fence, went and got the four-wheeler. And one dude, because we followed the tracks, he pushed that four-wheeler that didn't even work. It was a 1986 Kawasaki. Hadn't ran in years. Piece of junk, so they're not the smartest. Um, but he pushed it all the way up here, down this back road, to a truck that evidently, or some kind of vehicle with a trailer or whatever, was waiting down there. So let's go set up some cameras, and uh, we've got some air tags. We're gonna put some bait stuff out. I don't know what we're gonna do. There's one thing that I'm thinking about doing. It's kind of risky, and I haven't made my mind up yet. But let's go put some cameras up first. This is the last thing I was wanting to do today is ride around in the freezing rain. It is cold as all get out. I'm supposed to be making chicken stew at home. I got a fire built at home and I'm having to ride out here in the cold to catch these sorry tails that keep just coming in and taking what they want. But I think they'll be back tonight. So Thursday night they got the four wheeler. Last night they got the golf cart. It's Saturday on top of that. So. I think we got a pretty good chance and I sure hope we catch them. I think right up here in this group of trees is a good place to put the first camera because they're, uh, they, if they are coming up the back road, which the first night they for sure did, couldn't tell last night because we got rain, but pretty sure they're coming up this back road. So let's put us a camera somewhere on one of these pine trees right here. That way, if they do come through, and they, I feel pretty certain they are coming up this back road, we should be able to get them. We're going to be using these uh, Tacticam reveal cams. So these do take a SIM card and it is a monthly subscription service. But through that antenna right there, it'll alert you when it does take a picture and it'll send you the actual picture. So hopefully we'll get some, uh, some alerts tonight. I think we'll hook one on this tree over here. It's kind of tucked back off the road a little bit and we'll try to be careful, even though it's raining, which is good. I don't want to make a whole lot of tracks and disturbances to where they might notice this camera, but I think right over here will be a good spot if they pass by here. Get the lens cleaned off a little bit, and I can step up here on this tree. And the cool thing about these cameras too is that even if they did come to steal the cam, whoa, <laughs> a tree started breaking under me. Even if they do come steal the camera, I've got a picture of them and it'll be sent to my phone. Go up a little bit higher maybe. Something like maybe right about there. Let's see what that looks like. Right through there. That'll be pretty good. Then you just simply turn it on. I had these over at my sand mine because somebody was stealing from us over there too. You just can't have nothing no more. Let's see, we just turn it on just like that. Yeah, that ain't too bad right there. Blends in really good with the pine tree. And uh, like I said, if they even do see it and go over and take it, well, at least we'll have a picture of them. Then when we open the uh, reveal app, it says we don't have any photos yet because I cleared them all out. But as we drive by, hopefully in a little bit, we'll have one of the golf cart. So we're up at my folks' house right now. This is where the golf cart, right where my red one is, is where their blue one was. And I assume that they probably took the same path back across the field. The four-wheeler was over there behind that trailer. So um, that's where they finagled it out from. So I feel like this Polaris is probably gonna be their next target. So let's put an air tag somewhere on it. And uh, the key is not in it, but they're determined. So I think they'll at least make an attempt for it. 
I think I found a better spot, you guys, up underneath this channel right here is hollow. So let's take this air tag and let's tape it right up under here. And that'll be just fine. That's hidden real good out of sight. No way they'll be able to see that. Put the seat back on. Booby trap number one is ready. Now I think what we're gonna do, y'all, we'll get up on that wall right there. And let's go ahead and put us another camera up by that birdhouse. That way if they do come through this little pathway right here, we'll get them. Golly, it's so freaking cold. I think the birdhouses on this tree will help disguise the camera a little bit too. If we can put it maybe angled down a little bit like that ought to be good. All right, don't fall off the wall. Golly, it's cold. I can't even feel my fingers. I'm gonna be home by my warm fireplace. No, I gotta be out here putting up cameras because crackheads want to come steal all of our stuff. I think that looks pretty good. I should catch anybody that comes through that little driveway. Now I just gotta get back down off of here without falling. <clears throat> what y'all think? Yeah, because they'll be coming through about right here. That ought to do it. I forgot to turn it on. Oh, come on, Ryan, tighten up. <sighs> Dash gum it. Okay, now we should be in business. I like that pretty good. All right, let's go find some more places to set up cameras. And what else are we gonna put an air tag in? Let's go check on the Ford tractor, see what they did to it. We'll put an air tag on it. All right, on to the next spot. We gotta go check on a tractor too. Um, I haven't seen this with my own eyes yet, but the guys called me this morning and said, hey, did you leave the Ford tractor running? I'm like, no. So they said, well, they tried to steal it too. They told me they evidently couldn't figure out how to pick the box blade up, just about got the tractor stuck and uh, left the damn thing running all night long. What in the hell? Oh my goodness, what idiots. So this is the tractor that was running this morning when Jesus came up here to go to work. And uh, yeah, they do not know how a box blade works. Tractor was obviously backed in the hole a little bit deeper. I didn't know how to pick the uh, box plate up and got stuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What an idiot. Just almost buried the rear end here. Got a blade full. Golly. What a stupid idiot. Now they got stuck. Evidently knew how to put it back in neutral because then they just left the damn thing running all night long. Now, there are two more John Deere tractors over there. I think what I'm going to do, we leave the keys in all of them because it's gated. Um, well, the, up here around the landfill is gated. Down by my house is where the gate is open. That's where they're coming in and out. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and take the key out of this Ford just in case they try to steal it. I would think they would want one of the John Deere's uh, more so than this old Ford. So if we take the key out of the Ford, uh, that should discourage them. And then we'll put an air tag in one of the John Deere's over here. Okay, slight change of plans because I feel like they may just come back for this Ford. The key's already still in it. They took the keys out of the John Deere's. I'll probably put an air tag on one of them anyway, just in case they happen to have a John Deere key. But we feel like since they already know where this one's at, 
that they may come back for it. So what I did was take one of our air tags, put it in the toolbox here, got it taped up to the top right yonder. So it's activated. And then what I'm gonna do, and this is the risky move, but I'm going to leave my golf cart up here and uh, put an air tag in it. They seem to love golf carts, so let them get this one. Then, if all goes as planned, hopefully I'm not making a video in the next few days of crap. They stole my golf cart and I don't know where it's at. But I got a really good hiding spot. Let me show you where it's at. So underneath the steering wheel cover, right here, if I can get it off, my fingers are so cold. Hang on, let me put you guys down for a second. I had this off while ago because I already have the air tag in there, but it's rolling around as you move the steering wheel. So I'm gonna add some tape to it. And I don't think I have any clue that it's there. And uh, they're gonna want this golf cart. And hopefully by sacrificing mine, we'll be able to get mom and dad's golf cart back for them. Hopefully. So just got her taped in there like so. Let's get it snapped back on. Now it doesn't make the noise when you're moving it. <laughs> I'm gonna be pretty freaking nervous tonight though, watching this thing. Um, like I said, the Tacticam cameras will send me alerts when they take pictures. The air tags, as long as it stays with the machine, we should know, uh, we should know something soon. And then I also came and just stuck one of the Tacticams right up here. I know it's kind of out in the open, but you know, in the grand scheme of things, when you're looking around here, it's gonna be dark more than likely. Hopefully they won't see that. But what I thought we would do is throw us a couple pieces of wood right here on the tailgate and just make it look like we were working, getting a little bit of wood. And uh-oh, we forgot our golf cart up here. And they're gonna hopefully take the bait. There you go. That looks pretty believable, I think. But the thing you got to think about too is these thieves, they just want money. They're, if they see something worth taking, the keys are in it. I believe they're going to take it. All right, old girl, good luck tonight. I hope they treat you somewhat right. And I, I make sure that is on there good, but I'm going to leave everything just as is. We've got one more camera to put up. I think we'll go over there to the John Deere. Put that camera and that air tag. So let me grab my tape. And uh, good luck, girl. Hell, we'll go ahead and put it in forward for them because as stupid as they are, if I leave it in reverse, they'll probably back in and knock the whole wood pile down. Here's the shed over here where we've got the two John Deere's and I see their foot tracks where they walked all around. So just in case they do happen to have them a John Deere key, put an air tag in the cap of this little storage container on the side so we'll know where it's at and just in case it gets gone and then there's not a lot of good spots up here to hide the uh, the reveal cam so hopefully they won't notice this I know it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb but kind of looks like it's part of this uh, pump system right here so that's what we've got I am freezing the only negative about using my golf cart as bait is now I've got to walk home in the cold, but hey, we'll see how this thing goes, guys. Keep your fingers crossed. Well, the thieves didn't come back last night. It's Sunday today. The bait cart is still sitting there, but we did have a new development. Um, Aaron, a Aaron, me and him was talking this morning. I said, man, I hope they didn't go over to a little shed by the wash plant and get your Dewalt batteries and grease gun. Well, they did get the grease gun. The batteries were there, but then we noticed that we have a um, this uh, push blower for blowing off the parking lot, and it had a flat tire, and so they drug it all the way over here into the woods and left it, and also a cooler from a business next door full of beer, which is just a travesty in its own right. You just don't steal another man's beer, but these idiots don't care. But anyway, we're gonna walk over here through the woods Aaron has taken the air tag that was in the Ford tractor and put it in that flat tire of the blower. So I'm going to walk over here and see if I can find it and uh, 
hopefully tonight they'll come back and get that that's about a thousand dollar little machine so I feel like they're not just gonna leave it but he said they kind of got stuck over here let's work our way through the woods over here see if we can find they evidently drug the it's called a billy goat blower drug it up there was trying to make their way to the road and let it fall down the bank All right, I see the cooler over there that they stole from the other business, so we should be getting close. There's the cooler right here. Nice Rectech cooler, so I feel like they'll be back for that. Full of cold Coors Light, man. That's just that's wrong, dude. All right, now let's see if we can find where they let our blower. Evidently drank them a Mountain Dew. They were thirsty from all their hard work and thievery. The road is right there. Not sure if you guys can see that or not, but wherever our blower is, I feel like they're gonna be back to get this because the road's right there. They think they're gonna think it's gonna be an easy pickup for them. That air tag is going to go with it and we're going to bust that ass. I believe that Billy Goat blower is right down in there. But the sun is starting to set. The wash plant is just right over the hill there. And uh, I don't want to make too many tracks. I'm kind of being quiet up here too. Just because they should be coming back hopefully this evening to grab that blower that air tag I hope is gonna work the, the uh, it did update when Aaron moved it and put it in the tire so I'm hopeful we're gonna get them tonight <laughs> 